It's Saturday night, and we're about to discover who's got stars in their eyes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. Welcome to a brand new series of stars in their eyes. Yes, like a well-crafted boomerang, we're back. Like a student at university who needs his washing done, we're back. Like half a pound of best bacon, we're back. Back where we belong on Saturday nights. It's mad, bad, big, daft and dangerous. And most of all, it's fun. Over the next 12 weeks, 60 star guests will, as always, step through those famous doors and fulfil the dream of a lifetime. New friendships will be forged, new careers might even be launched. But above all, we'll go away with that rosy glow inside us, thinking, I enjoyed that. However, for the first five people waiting anxiously backstage, it's now that's important. So let's not delay any longer and meet our first star guest of the series. A woman who may not have a big name herself, but certainly has a big personality. <laughs> My name's Suzanne Walters, I'm 25, and I live in westcliff on sea in Essex. Fine. I live with my mum and my dad, my brother, okay, and we've got go. a lovely dog called Sooty. OK, Sinead, you're going to have your picture taken. I work for Parasol Portrait Studio, getting a lot of children to smile. So you have to be very patient, very calm, take your time, and just get them to relax. Lots of jokes and toys and goodness knows what, just to get them to smile. OK, Sinead, you're going to sit up straight and give me a big smile. Good girl. Well, I love musicals and I love show music. All the, all the women of that era were such stars. The artist I'm going to be doing tonight, I love her because she's loud, she's funny, and she's just a gorgeous woman who was such a huge star. She was a classic. And I'm really looking forward to giving my friends and family a big surprise. We'll say cheesy feet. She knows how to bring a smile to your face. Suzanne Walters! I'm sorry, Suzanne. I'm really sorry about this, but that little child stole that film off you then. She didn't. She was horrible. Well, she... Don't say that! No, she was. Three hours that took to get one smile. Do I get the impression that you don't want to be there, really? Well, Broadway is really where I want to be. You want to be on Broadway? Oh, I do. What, doing musicals? Yes, absolutely. You do the amdrums, don't you? I do, yes. And uh, what's your favourite part in the amdrums? My favourite part that I've done so far was Miss Hannigan in the musical Annie. And why do you like that so much? Because never have you seen one person get so drunk on a cup of tea. <laughs> because I don't drink. You're teetotal? I am. And you have to act drunk? I did. I could have played that for real for you. <laughs> It's because of your mother that you're here. It is. Tell us about your mother. Well, she's to blame for all this, Matthew. She nagged and nagged and nagged for eight solid years. She's always wanted you to, to be get, on this show. Always wanted me to be on this show. And I finally gave in and said, all right. She'll be thrilled with what you're doing tonight because the, <laughs> the song that you're doing will... I mean, it could be an anthem for this series, couldn't it? Could it could be, absolutely. Tell us who you're going to be. Well, tonight, Matthew... I'm going to be Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman, the of the big, big voice. Starting the show with the business tonight, singing live, Susan Walters is Ethel Merman.
scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience that lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the customers don't come. There's no business like show business, like no business I know. You get word before the show has started. That's your favorite uncle died at dawn. On top of that, your pa and ma just parted. You're broken hearted, but you go on. Fantastic. True. Fantastic. What a big oh. voice you've got. Thank you. Huge. <laughs> Tell you, 12 dancers. Marvellous. 12 dancers, <laughs> five tons of Maribou, 15 million sequins. <laughs> Mother will be pleased. She will. Ladies and gentlemen, Suzanne Walters as Ethel Merman. <laughs> There's enough energy in that performance to power the national grid. Let's see what excitement star guest number two can generate. My name's Jason Jakovsky. I'm 22 years old and I live in Chester. I was born in Toronto, Canada. Um, and when I was 17, I moved over to Britain with my mum and my sister. Basically, I consider myself European. I mean, I've, I've got so much blood from Scotland, Wales, Poland, Germany, Austria, anywhere that it's just all mixed into one and you get me. The Royal Mail in Chester is one of the few offices which have a barcoding system. I go around to all my computer terminals and do a download of all the information that's been put in in the previous 24 hours. When I received the phone call to say I'd actually made it on Stars in the Rise, the first thing I did was call my mother up. My dad answered the phone. He said, so well, have you made it or haven't you? I told him I had and I can hear my mother in the bath screaming her head off and water splashing everywhere. I'm feeling very excited, very nervous and looking forward to going out and doing my best. He's what you might call a man of letters, Jason Jakovsky. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been at the Royal Mail? Uh, almost two years. What were you doing before that? Um, I've worked in a few bars in Toronto and in Britain. And you do all that flashy stuff with the bottles and things? I try to do it. Well, fortunately, <laughs> I had one of these left over. Do you think you would do uh, all that stuff for us? Uh, I, I can try. You I can, can try. try. I may drop it, though. Warning you now. No, you won't. Right. You won't. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Oh! Congratulations. Thank you. Well, you see, there you are. Really, you should be an entertainer, shouldn't you? I'd like to be, yes. You did start acting very young, didn't you? I did. Um, I was about 11. My first role was the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. Yes. And you can play a musical instrument as well? I can. I play the cello. And I've been doing that around, since around 11 years old yes. as well. A great background for, for what you intend to do. Of course, your family didn't realise how good you were at being the person that you're going to be tonight. No, they didn't, Matthew. Um, my sister was in her bedroom listening to the person I'm, I'm going to be. And my mum came home and thought I was upstairs singing with her. And obviously she came upstairs, I was nowhere to be seen. And, uh, and it was the tape of the person that you were going was, to be? It was, yes. Give us a clue about who it's going to be. Uh, well, he's from Hull, mm -hmm. and he's been in two bands, and very successful bands at that as well. So tell us who you are going to be, Jason. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Paul Heaton. Paul Heaton of the Beautiful South! 
He's a house martin who flew south. He's a cosmopolitan Canadian, but tonight, singing live, Jason Zukowski is Paul Heaton. A friend who I love from my heart. And I went on and left her for her hair to start. Now I'm open the wounds like the rest of the child's take me back. So I'll cry with her and just get by then. Till these blue eyes of mine, they are closed. So here's to an old fashioned Sweet northern rose Give me one last love song To bring you back Bring you back Give me one last video Just dressed in black Dressed in black Give him a car A snap it at the end Where he wails on and on About the loss of a friend let him scream loudly well this love could mend Let it die, let it die Those bloody great ballads we hated at first Well I've got them all, now I'm home riding west Save us from baldness and saving the earth Take me back and I'll smile with her and I'd love to feel her Till the clouds disappear from above Miss the storm is away All I can say is there's a towel in the dark the other Give me one last love song To bring you back, bring you back Give me one last video just dressed in black, dressed in black Give him a car, a snap it at the end Where he wails on and on about the loss of a friend Let him scream loudly, well, this love could mend Let it die, let it die Did you hear? Yes, did, did you hear that? Yes, it is fabulous. 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 I can see why your mother was confused. <laughs> Perhaps we better tell. Mrs. Tchaikovsky, this one is Jason. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Tchaikovsky as Paul Heaton. <laughs> Paul Heaton and one last love song. And it's time for one last star guest before the break. A young man who smells, basically. My name is Gareth Dickinson, I'm 21 years old and I come from Castleford in West Yorkshire. I'm a student at Leeds University, I study physics with astrophysics. During the summer vacation I worked at Nestle Roundtree. Um, I work in the labs, testing packaging material. I have to do taint and odour tests in case they might uh, infect chocolate. Before I start the job I loved chocolate, but now I'm just sick of it. I don't know why people like chocolate, it's awful. I've always been a singer. I think my first singing um, thing was um, maybe in a carol concert, age four, and school productions. And when I got into about 15 years old, I started in bands. And that. The band that I'm in now, um, we're called Bingo, and then it's sort of taken over. My studies a bit more than what I think it should do. In five years' time, I hope someone's going to be on Stars in Their Eyes, and they're going to say, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Gareth Dickinson. One thing at a time. Let's meet Gareth Dickinson. Are you sniffing cardboard for anything in particular? Well, yeah, it might taint the chocolate. So all the packaging material has to be tested for taint and odour. 
You know, sniffing cardboard and eating chocolate all day, people give their right arm for that job. I think so, yeah, but you got on my nerves after a bit. You could get bored with that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, could. You do a lot of part-time work, don't you? Yeah, being a student, you need to do a lot of part-time work. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. What was the job you had before that, then? I worked in a warehouse. Doing what? It's for a clothes company, um, putting away bras. But how, how many bras did you pack during the course of your I think it, honestly, it was about 14,000 or something like that. Really? That's a lot of bras. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get fed up with bras as much as you got fed up with chocolate? No, bras are all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it wasn't your plan to do the person that you're going to be tonight. You auditioned as something else, Yeah, you? I auditioned as Freddie Mercury. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's quite a long way from the person that you are going to be. Now, did you have any practice being the person that you're going to be? Lots, yeah. Who helped you? My mum. Your mum. Yeah, good old mum. Bless her. What did she help you with? Um, just the sort of physical and visual side of it, all the actions that this character what does. What kind of thing was she doing for you? Well, she'd like watch me and then constructively criticise my performance. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and does she do the actions herself? I'll tell you, she could do it, she's as good as me, yeah. This is a cult star, this man you're going to be. Tell us who it is. Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Jarvis Cocker. Jarvis Cocker of Pulp! Michael Jackson's biggest fan! He's a bright boy turned pulp star because tonight, seen live, Gareth Dickinson is Jarvis Cocker! That comes a pretty close second to packing 14,000 bras, does it? Quite close, yeah. Does your mother really do all those movements? Honestly, just like that, yeah. <laughs> it's a bully, isn't it? 
bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gareth Dickinson as Jarvis Cocker! Paul Heaton and Jarvis Cocker, all in part one. Can't wait to see who's in part two. Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Stars in the Rise. Now, what's got six million legs and sings? Whales. <laughs> and so, star guest number four is the walking proof. My name is Andrew Williams. I'm 29 years of age. I was born in a, a small place called Aberdeer, which is in South Wales, where I've lived all my life. Since leaving school, uh, I've worked within the Welsh open cast coal industry, uh, and I'm currently a wayman at an old deep mining pit, which is called Open Anchor Colliery. It's my job uh, to weigh empty lorries coming in. Uh, they will then go and load up with coal. I then have to weigh them and make sure that the load that they have got on uh, doesn't exceed their legal limit. As a child, uh, I remember my mother being a big fan of this person. Uh, I was brought up on this music. I really would like to sing a song for her. When I got the phone call to say that I was actually going to be on the show, I thought I'd win the lottery. He's even named after a famous singer. It's Andrew Williams. Yeah. He's at yeah. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. So do you, uh, do you come from a mining family, then? Yeah, mining family. My grandfather, my father. Uh, I work for the coal industry, but I got an easy job. I'm, I'm above ground. Would you yeah. like to get out of mining altogether? Uh, well, you know, if I could, I suppose, yeah. You'd uh, really like to be a singer, wouldn't you? Yes. Tell us about the first time you sang in public. Well, the first time I sang was in a charity concert. I was 15 years of age, and um, there was a full band. We all got on stage, everything was ready to go, and then our drummer, who was sitting in the audience there, uh, came up onto the stage, tripped up, head first into his bass drum, the bass, <laughs> all the drums went everywhere, all the disco deck behind, and that was that. And that was the end of it? Yeah, I never wanted to sing again after that. And you were 15. You've lost a lot of weight to come on and, and be this person, haven't you? I have, yes. Um, and why did you do that? Well, it's the leather trousers for a start. Uh, when I first tried them on, it was like, <gasps> yeah, they fit. But they didn't. Vanity is a terrible thing, isn't yeah, it? Yes, so I, I, I had to lose weight to get them on. The leather trousers is a very big clue as to who you're going to be. Tell us who it is. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Tom Jones. Tom Jones! It couldn't be anyone else! He's another voice from the valleys, and tonight, singing live, Andrew Williams is Tom Jones! Still, you will guarantee a 
just until tomorrow One more mouth to feed And the way things are around here That's the last thing they Again. <laughs> His hand there all the time there. Yeah. See, it was well worth slimming down for, wasn't it? It was, yeah. That's a magnificent voice, you know. Magnificent. That last note much. was just spot on. You have done yourself and Wales proud. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Williams has Tom Jones. <laughs> and from the valleys of Wales to the streets of London to meet star guests, number five. Two for the price of one. Now that's what I call value for money. <laughs> Our names are Roger Heron and Kelly Walden. We both work in the middle of London. I've worked in the law for some 25 years. Kelly's an investment broker and has been for about 14 years. I've known Roger for some four or five years now. We, um, we met socially and uh, it's quite nice because if Roger's working in town, uh, we'll often meet for lunch or go and have a, a quick drink and a nutter. It was my idea to apply for Stars in Their Eyes. Um, it was Kelly who actually pushed me into making the phone call. I'm sure if she hadn't pushed me, I probably wouldn't have done anything about it. In our everyday lives, we're, uh, we're quite soberly dressed and we're really looking forward to, to dressing up in, in, in all the, the gear. And I'm sure I'm going to get my leg pulled, and Roger too. Roger perhaps more than me. That's got your guessing, hasn't it? Please welcome Roger Heron and Kelly Warden. <laughs> now, Roger, you haven't been in litigation all your life, have you? Not quite all my life. When uh, you were a salesman at one time? I, I, I prefer to forget it, but yes, I was a uh, very, very what, brief period. What kind of salesman were you? Books. What kind of books? Encyclopedias. Encyclopedias, I thought. Yeah, so. Yeah. so how long did you last on that job? Oh, quite a while, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Three days. Three days? Three well, of those were training. Oh, no, really? Because <laughs> you haven't been in investment uh, all your life, have you really, Kelly? No, no, not what, at all. What, what else have you done? Um, when, when I was about 16 or 17, I had a week painting double-decker buses in a bikini. Really? <laughs> the weather changed, so the job didn't <laughs> no, last. I, I didn't know quite what to say about that, really. This is not your first time on television, is it, Roger? No, no. I've been on TV before. Um, I was 12 years old at the time. Yeah. Junior Criss Cross Quiz. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> With Bob Holness? Robert Holness, you had to call him. Robert, then. of course. Yes. yes. What did you win? Uh, a book token. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Chucked it about in those days. You couldn't win you? any less. How did you come to choose to be the people that you're going to be? Well, it was a friend of mine that... Um, we were talking about the show, and uh, Roger just said... I think we should do the people that we're going to be tonight. So we, uh, we gave it a go. So you've never done uh, it before, and it was just like no, an off chance no, remark? No, it was an off the cuff remark. Well, yeah. you better give us some clues. Well, it was 70s, yes. very much. Lots of uh, crushed velvet. Oh, lovely, my <laughs> favourite. Duo, she was blonde. Yes. And uh, he was blind. I think we should know by now who you're going to be, so tell us who it is. Well, tonight, Matthew, we're going to be Peters. And Lee. Peters and Lee, we've had them all on the show tonight. <laughs> Will opportunity not, because tonight, singing live, Roger Heron and Kelly Warden are Peters and Lee. Every 
when you come back and you're beside me these are the words i'll sing to you Frightening. It's just frightening. It's frighteningly accurate. And the memories are frightening as well. <laughs> well done, both of you, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Heron and Kelly Warden as Peters and Lee. <laughs> Peters and Lee, one of the big cabaret names of the 70s. Will they line up in our live grand final in June or will it be? One of the other big names that we've seen tonight. That decision is about to be taken by our studio audience, who, even as I speak, are poised, ready to determine the fate of our five-star guests. Who will it be? Will it be Ethel Merman, Paul Heaton, Jarvis Cocker, Tom Jones, or Peters and Lee? There they all are. You don't see a lineup like that very often. Right, studio audience, cast your votes now. And the winner is Jarvis Cocker! Really shocked then. I was shocked to tell you. Why were you so shocked? <laughs> I don't think I'd win. <laughs> oh, that could be why then, so probably. Why? Well, this gives you a choice now, doesn't it? What's that? Well, <laughs> could go where? Uh, you could be sniffing cardboard, could be packing bras, or you could yeah. uh, go on singing, I suppose. I suppose I'll sing. <laughs> you reckon? Might as well, I. And I'm really pleased it's happened to you. It couldn't have happened to a nicer man and on your birthday as well. Oh. Hey, it's Gareth's birthday today. Yeah, oh. I'm really pleased for you. Congratulations. Cheers, mate. Well done. So Gareth can relax till he <laughs> returns, no, you will do, <laughs> to take part in the live grand final. Next week, it'll be the turn of five more star guests to experience the thrills and excitement that Gareth has already savoured. 
their fortunes are still in the stars. But right now, the brightest star is standing right beside me. <laughs> so until next week, I'll leave you once more with the distinctive sound of Gareth Dickinson as Jarvis Cocker. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Sculpture at St. Martin's College That's what I Caught her eye She told me that her dad was loaded I said in that case love rum and Coca-Cola She said fine oh. And then 30 seconds time She said I want to live like common people I want to see Common people see, want to sleep with common people. You want to sleep with common people like me. But she didn't understand. Well, she just smiled and held my hand. Rent your flat above her shop. Well, cut your hair and get a job. Let's learn some facts and play some rules. Pretend you'll never. If you'd like to appear on Stars in Their Eyes, please call 0990 665544. And who knows, our famous doors could open for you. Never watch your life, 